guys, Joanna coming in, got another battle replay for you here on Total War Room 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We are on the settlement of Zara Magusta, but I don't think this is the full size. I think this is just medium size. Do not see any wall artillery, which is kind of making me think that this is just a medium size settlement. But we do have a 2v2 siege. Let us take a look at the armies first. We will look at the attackers. We have a Galatia here first being commanded by Tremor Style, and he has six units of the Galatian Legionnaires, four Galatian Swords, two Galatian Noblemen, one of those being the General, one Naked Sword, three Syrian Archers, and a Cappadocian Cavalry. Really big fan of the Cappadocian Cavalry. Over here, his ally is Rome. Very strong, powerful factions. Strong and powerful. Strong and powerful factions on attack. But we do have Rome here being commanded by Yusufo, I think, Yusufo. And he has nine units of Legionnaire Cohort, three First Cohort, one Regular Legionnaire. General is a Legatus and three Syrian Archers. So no artillery on the attack either. Interesting. Getting in onto the defenders, we do have a Lusitani here being commanded by Hectic Dream. And he has seven units of the Veteran Shield Warriors, six Iberian Swordsmen. General is a Lusitani Noble. Oh, brutal. Brutal unit. Three units of Balearic Slingers and an Iberian Skirmisher. And then we have a Parthia being commanded by Sexy Millipede 9. And he has six units of Parthian Swordsmen, four Hillmen, three Persian Hoplites. General is a Royal Cataphract. Three units of the Parthian Foot Archers, one Elite Persian Archer. And he does have two units of the Mercenary Sarmatian Lancers. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. Towers just landing up on the wall, so let's get ready for the beginning of this battle. Alright, so diving into the beginning of this battle replay, we have one of the units of the Parthian Foot Archers starting to unload up on the wall here. Three units, wow, three, just all bunch, oh no, he's got three and a unit of the Galatian Nobleman already down on the street, coming down off the wall there. One unit of Hillman going to try and hold back all of these Galatian swords, and that is just not going to work out for the Hillman unit at all. Hillman are not very strong. They are good as like a front line because they can hold for a very little bit. See, look at all those Hillman right there dead. All of that dead bodies decided maybe a couple here and there. A lot of dead Hillman. Lots of dead, dead Hillman. Galatian noblemen are down on the ground, like I said already, taking on yet another unit of the Hillmen. Let's swing on back and see how those archers are doing so far, though. 127 kills, 128 now, really doing a lot of damage. So that Hillman, like I said, not the greatest, but they're doing their job. They're holding these Galatian swords in place. One unit there already down to 76 men. Galatian noblemen down here on the ground doing pretty well. Still have not lost anybody. Still has not lost a single man out of that unit. Hillman down 55, almost 60 men now. Back on the other side, we have Rome landing some of his ladders. We actually have ladders brought to the battlefield. That's crazy. Uh, a couple tortoises here as well, knocking down some wall breaches. That is definitely going to allow Rome to have a much easier way of shuttling all of his troops inside the settlement. Unit of the Iberian swordsman up on the wall, only three kills. They are taking on some Legionnaire Cohort. Going to be a difficult fight yet again. Precision shot. Precision shot activated. Oh, Elite Persian Archers starting to unload here. Only one kill so far. Did just hear that Precision shot get, get uh, yelled out there. But uh, they are kind of, uh, they're getting some kills. They're getting some kills. Killed 12 of them so far. The Iberian Swordsman walked away with four total kills. So, yeah, initial wall defense not going very well for the defenders, but we do... Ooh, we got some javelins. There you go. Some murder sticks hitting those Galatian noblemen as they are making their way back in again onto the Hillman front line. See how these Galatian swords are doing up on the wall there. Still here. Wow, that one... Oh, no, that's not that one. There it is. 69. Giggity. <laughs> nice. Some Galatian Legionnaires have made their way around as well. I guess this... Oh, he came off this tower, I guess. He's going to start making his way down. Come down off the stairs. Yeah, not a bad idea. Get in there. Iberian Swordsman. They'll be able to hold for it again for a little while, but nothing too dramatic coming from the Iberian Swordsman. And the only reason why I say that is uh, because they don't have a whole lot of armor. 
15 armor. I mean, their melee attack, not bad. My weapon damage, not bad. Charge defense, not bad. Oh, sorry, melee defense, not bad. Charge bonus is okay. Health is okay, but... Yeah, that, uh, that armor is definitely something to be, uh, to be wished for, to be higher. But they're holding these Galatian Legionnaires at the moment. I don't really know if the Galatian Legionnaires actually pressed into this fight, or if maybe the Gyberian Swords would got to charge off onto them. But all right, Galatia already in here. Looks like, yep, towers have been neutralized, and that, get, uh, that helmet's going to be done soon. Rome on the other side, pretty much doing the exact same thing to the Lusitani front line. Iberian Swordsman trying to hold as long as they can. 32 kills for that unit, but yeah. Looks like they are going to easily, Rome is easily going to get control of the front wall here. But, ooh, what was, oh, that's Pila coming there. Pila from the Legionnaire cohort into the back of the Iberian Swordsman. And they are toast. They are done. All right, so the defenders have called a full retreat back towards the town center uh they have some persian hoplites here going to be holding the initial defensive line do have some more of the uh, veteran shield warriors up on the wall there Balearic slinger pulling away another roman unit hasn't even moved yet actually what is that another unit of legionnaire cohort just kind of hanging out maybe they're maybe they're waiting for their invitation it's possible they could be waiting for their invitation but yeah the defenders uh falling back where did the where did that cavalry go? Oh, there's there they are. They're all the way around over here. Okay. Kind of interested to see what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to make use of the breach points from the attackers to get it inside. Attackers just going to capture up capture points. They already have control of the gatehouse. Very good. Capdoshi cavalry keeping an eye out on this side over here. So, yeah, initial defense... Very, very difficult for the defenders. Legionnaire cohort, let's see what they got. 185, 114, 58, 6. So a good amount of kills there for the first cohort and for the Legionnaire cohort as well. Galatia looks like they are going to be the ones that move forward first, I should say. Naked Swords making their way up. 117 kills for Naked Swords already. Wow. They've only lost 29 men, but here comes the Galatian Swords making their way. 80, 65, and 53 kills total. Galatian Nobleman there, 227 kills. Jesus. I mean, they were just fighting uh, Hillman over here, so it's not entirely surprising. Not entirely surprising. So let's see what we're going to have for a defensive line. So the two version hoplites that were already there, Iberian Swordsman, three more units of Iberian Swordsman, a Balearic Slinger behind them. Where did the archers go? I'm really interested to see where the archers went. Because if the archers can get over here and get some shots across, they could do some damage. As this is going to be the non-shielded side of the attacking units as they make their way forward. That could definitely be a good spot for these archers. 244. Oh, there's one with zero. Good. And 21. And the Parthian Ford archers over here with 24 kills. Okay. Okay. So there is a decent amount of ammo still back there for the Parthian archers. Um, the Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a returning unit. That was the Iberian swordsman that routed that came out of the wall right there. So Legionnaire cohort starting to make their way up. I don't really know why he's still using the tower. Um, obviously, he could just easily get off the tower and just walk inside the town. But all right, looks like Galatia are going to start making their way forward. Iberian swordsman tossing their javelins back. So the defense is continuing here. I guess the defenders felt a little bit more comfortable holding back over here in this choke point area. Obviously, the hoplites will pose to be a bit of a problem. I mean, they're not the greatest. Melee defense, 62. Armor, 75. Melee attack, weapon damage, not really that good. Bonus first large, 20. Charge bonus, 20. I mean, they're, they're okay. They're okay for frontline hoplite units. Heavy spear infantry, they can hold. But the Galatian Swords here starting to get dropped really quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where you want to shoot. Shoot right into those naked swords. Mm, only 10 armor. I don't know why they're up here so fast. I really don't know why they're up here. Yeah, there they go. So 117 kills. And uh, they went from 131 guys or whatever it was down to 41. Very, very quickly. Very, very, very quickly. Now, I see an archer coming over here. Parthian Foot Archer making his way wonder if maybe he's going to try and fire into those Legionnaires. 
We do have another unit of the veteran shield warriors there, starting to throw some javelins. Getting some kills, actually getting some kills onto these regular legionary unit that's going to make their way down. And around, I'm assuming, going to get into this veteran, uh, veteran shield warrior unit. Again, I don't know what Rome is doing with this tower. I'm not really sure where he's planning on going. But we do have the general has come outside, Royal Cataphract, along with those two units of the mercenary Sarmatian Lancers. One of them, I believe, is visible. The other one, they're currently hidden. Cappadocian Cavalry still sitting out over there. What do we got? Syrian Archers? I wonder. Ooh, I wonder. Are the Syrian Archers going to come over here under the cover of the Cappadocian Cavalry? We actually have the noble, the uh, Galatian Nobleman General making his way around over here as well. So I think what we're about to see here in the next couple of seconds is the archers come over here and start trying to get some shots in onto these defending units. Let's get back up over here on the wall. Legionnaire. Oh, there we go. Oh, archer fire. Getting into them legionnaires. Starting to cut them down. Starting to make some damage. 26 kills. Elite Persian archers firing away. Another unit making their way over there. Parthian swordsmen making their way over here. Again, I, I think he's sound. Now he's like, oh, I should just go inside. I think I should just go inside and meet up with my friends. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Might not have been a bad idea to go in there much earlier than that, as just walking around outside doesn't wasn't really needed. Was not really needed. But yeah, this legionary unit, not looking good. Not looking good. Veteran shield warriors doing pretty good. 147 men left in the unit. 23 kills. Oh, wait a second. Oh, Syrian archers there. Wow. Syrian archers for Rome firing away, pushing that Parthian foot archer back. I mean, that unit had zero kills, so might not. Yeah, get them out of there. Get them out of there. Persian light archers, though. I'm sorry, elite Persian archers firing away. Very light missile infantry. Now, let's see what Galatia is doing. He is starting to fire. Looks like he's firing on the wall, though. Oh, no, he's shooting at the Persian light archers. Okay. Uh, Parthian foot archers, sorry. I keep saying Persian light archers. So mercenary Syrians, two, zero, and four. So not the greatest of kills just yet. They are trying to shoot at the unit that's up on the wall. A lot of those arrows are obviously going to bounce off of the wall, which is going to give, yeah, look at all the, I mean, he killed some, killed about five there, but a lot more arrows hit the wall than they did hit the unit. 95, 94, now they're starting to lose. Now they're starting to lose, okay. So the Syrians got their aim down here. Turned on their aimbot. Going to be able to start firing pretty well. 10 kills, 15, and 12. So they are getting some good shots now. Parthian foot archers getting knocked down. Only 46 kills. But all right, back inside on the front line. We have some more legionnaire cohort have made their way up. Persian light archers trying to hold as long as they can. Iberian swordsmen have pressed up 90, now 80, 85. Left in the unit with a total of 69 kills. Hey, another one. Giggity. Very nice. Persian Light Hoplite sitting back over here. Parthian Foot Archers, 244. They out? Probably out. No, they're not. They are not out yet. Uh, still firing up over there. Wow. Getting rid of that Legionary unit very, very quickly. 89, now 90 kills for them. First cohort here starting to throw their javelins, or their pila, I should say, into that Veteran Shield Warrior. Just pull back. Yeah, there's no point. There's no real point. Let the, let the first cohort sit there. Maybe exhaust all of their pila. Oh, no, he's coming. I think he's coming around the corner. He is coming around the corner. I don't know if I would recommend doing that. As a first cohort unit, they could do a lot of damage, and that was already a pretty, I think it was pretty beaten, beaten up. Yeah, they've lost 50 men, 53, 57, 55 men. So that first cohort is definitely going to do a lot of damage to them. Uh, the Syrian archers, ooh, wow, Syrian archers losing now. Oh, look at this. One of the, parts, one of the uh, Sarmatian Lancers came over here. He didn't get any kills, but he's a distraction. He's a distraction. Very nice. Syrian archers here. 17 kills getting taken out. Balearic Slingers of Lusitani doing the work that needs to be done. Where is that other Sarmatian Lancer? Did he bring him back inside? Or are they both over? Oh, no, they are both over here. Okay, I didn't see the second unit there for a second. But he does have both units over on this side now. So the Syrian archers probably going to retreat. Looks like the Galatian Nobleman General is going to make his way back inside the settlement as well. So let's get in some of the fighting here. I'm going to take a sip of coffee while you guys enjoy this fighting. All 
right? Get back in here. Let's see. The first cohort came around the corner. This right now. Oh, are they out? No, they're not out. They're just getting shot, though. E Syrian archers of Rome. Are they both firing? I think they are both firing. Nope, just one of them is. That unit right there is firing up across the buildings, getting into that elite Persian archer unit, which, guys, that's elite. That's the most expensive archer unit that the uh, Parthian force can bring. So he definitely wants to get them out of there. What is he focusing on? Let's see if he's looking somewhere else. I don't see him moving anything else, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Parthian foot archers up on the wall there. Winded. Yeah, they're not really... I'm not really sure what's going on. Unless maybe he's trying to focus over here. 245 with this Parthian foot archer. Looks like the hoplites are falling back. Oh, are the defenders pulling back even further? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so they're just moving here. They just fell the, the uh, hoplites back just a little bit further. Leaving the unit of veteran shield warriors up on the front line. 90 kills for them, though. Not bad. Not too bad. They are going to have to take on the uh, Legionnaire cohort, though. Right behind them, another unit of Legionnaire cohort throwing their Pila. Archer fire now really pouring in onto this Parthian foot archer, which, guys, I mean, he's almost out of ammo. He's definitely almost out of ammo. 270 kills. Yeah, they have a lot of archers firing again. A lot of archers firing at the one unit. Still chasing them back. All of those arrows have missed. So the part three foot archer is actually going to get out of there with only losing four, 40 men. 270 kills. Very, very well done. Let's see what's going on back up on the wall over here. We have another unit. Part three and swordsmen have come back over onto the wall here. Going to obviously switch places with the veteran shield warriors once the first cohort wins. Which they've only lost 22 men so far. So the archers are firing pretty much into the backs of the Roman units. But they're really not losing all that much. They have not lost all that much. But he's actually going to fall them back away again. Which I don't know if I would recommend doing that. Well, actually, maybe not a bad idea. Get them out of there. Maybe they won't continue to take damage. The general is doing. Where's the... Oh, he came back inside. Okay, cataphract general came back inside. Legionnaire, another unit of Legionnaire cohort charging in onto the front line, but Luki here. Balearic Slingers. Perfect, perfect, perfect vision. Firing down 207 kills for them. Firing down into those Roman units. Now, we do have a decent amount of archers over here. Like, a lot of decent amount of archers. Six units over here. I would definitely be firing at that Balearic Slinger. Just get them out of there. Just get them out of there. Oh, no, they have their daggers in their hands. Okay, never mind. No, no point in shooting at them now. Unless the players switch them from ranged to melee, which is possible. This definitely is a very, very strong possibility. A lot of players do that to try and mask the fact that they don't have any ammo left. Especially with that high of kills, 207 kills. You could definitely get away with switching it into melee, turning it off of ranged. It looks like these Syrians are just going to try and keep shooting them down, though. Get rid of him. He's actually coming around over here. Maybe somebody needs to somebody needs to come over here and try and stop that unit before they neutralize this tower. Or neutralize the gate. Does not look like the attackers are very uh, concerned about that, though. Maybe it's just because of the size of the unit. There's only 39 left in the unit. I mean, the nobleman general would be able to destroy him very, very quickly. Destroy that Balearic Slinger unit very, very easily. Very, very easily. Okay. I was kind of waiting for this to start happening. Persian Hoplites, I mean, they held they held 15 kills, 21 kills. They held for a decent amount of time, but eventually Rome is going to start doing some damage. Eventually Rome will begin to break through that Hoplite formation. Got another unit of Legionnaire cohort coming in. Oh, no, that's the first cohort. Another first cohort has come around. Who's the first one? There he is. Yeah, that's the unit that was up on the wall. So he has sent another first cohort in here. Balearic Slingers still firing away. 27 kills there. Parthian Foot Archers, 103. That unit, 276. The Elites still here. No, no, no. Where's the Elites? Are they gone? Are the Elite Persian... Are the Elite um, Parthian Archers gone? I don't see them anymore. I think they're gone. It does look like they are gone here. 15 kills for that unit, though. Pretty solid. 
281. Another unit of the Parthian Ford Archers have made their way forward. They definitely still have ammo. I'm wondering why they're so far forward and not firing. I mean, that's more the... I'm wondering why they're not firing. Defensive line breaking down yet again. We're going to need to get more infantry over here, boys. Going to need to throw something else up over here to hold on. Veteran Shield Warriors down to 90 men. They're not going to be able to hold for very long. First cohort. First cohort. Not good. Not good. Looks like we actually... Wait a second. We have Kila coming in on the side there? Oh, yeah, we do. That was the Lusitani Noble General. Throwing a little bit. 21 kills for him. Okay, not bad. Archers is still firing. Persian Hoplites making their way back. See a lot of the Parthian re reinforcements here. The Parthian Swordsmen making their way forward now as well. Iberian Skirmishers coming around. Zero kills. Starting to get dropped. Starting to get dropped down. So it looks like the Archers are going to be the next line of defense. Yeah, it looks like they are. They're going to use them uh, as a line to hold so more infantry can make their way back up. The Archers have actually not needed to go in just yet. Did he go over? Yeah, he took it out. Okay. Galatian Noble in general took them out. Okay. I was figuring that was going to happen. But all right. Parthian Swordsmen get real close to the front line. Are we going to have some javelins? Will we have some murder sticks? Yes, we will. Oh, yes. That is beautiful. You got another one. Come on, toss them. Get those going. Get them going. Toss them. There you go. Get some more kills. Very nice. Should have a last little bit of a volley left. Little bit. 33 kills. Oh, Pila getting exchanged back. Persian Hoplites coming up. Oh, but there you go. Veteran Shield Warriors releasing their javelins now as well. Ooh, I want to stop, though. They're getting into the party of swords when they've charged in. Legionnaires making their way in, finally coming in here. He still got four units sitting back over here. Where are those lancers? Oh, they're sitting over here now. Okay. I keep seeing the general moving around a little bit, but I'm not sure. I got to keep an eye on these lancers as well. Nobleman general up on the wall. Interesting. Not sure why he's up on the wall. He could definitely be helpful over here. Trying to defend any of the rear lines. But actually, I mean, there's enough over here. There's a bunch of Legionnaires. Legionnaire cohorts. Galatian Legionnaires. So it looks like maybe they have enough. But this defensive line is not going to hold for very much longer. 265 on a Legionnaire cohort. 163. First cohort, 127. Galatian Legionnaires just getting in there. 50 kills for that unit. The other unit over here. Looks like they're in melee. Yeah, they are. Oh, my God. They have 163 kills. That must have been one of the first units that came in. Persian Hoplite's going to try and hold for as long as they can. Don't think they're going to be able to hold for very long, though. I really feel like Parthia is trying to wait for a fantastic opportunity to get these Step Lancers in there. Or Sarm Sarmatian Lancers, you should say. And maybe the, even the Royal Cataphract General. We actually have the very small unit of Iberian Swordsmen coming back. But look at this, actually. Parthia pressed a unit of his, of his swords down. Maybe that's the beginning of the plan. Maybe that's the beginning of the plan because now he's distracted two units of the Galatian Legionnaires over onto that one side. Medium shock cavalry, medium shock cavalry. Super heavy shock cavalry. Oh, Roman units starting to break. Almost 300 kills, though. Almost 300 kills. We have another Parthian swordsman up on the wall there. Looks like they're trying to throw their javelin. Yeah, they're kind of... Oh, maybe that's them. Oh, no, that's not. That's hitting, the, that's hitting this unit. Okay. 24 kills. Balance of power still in favor of the attackers. I mean, these were pretty pretty strong attacking factions for sure. For sure. Syrian archers there for Galatia now starting to fire up onto the wall. We actually have the Galatian nobleman general now making his way down. 
probably going to scare these Parthian swordsmen away. Unless this is, again, maybe this is a trap. Oh, no, he stopped. Okay. I was going to say, maybe this is a trap, but that Galatian general continues... Actually, let's use it here. If he continues down this wall here, he could have found himself in some trouble. Could have definitely found himself in trouble. But uh, speaking of trouble, it looks like the defenders are starting to run out of range. I see one Balearic Slinger unit there for Lusitani. Parthian Foot Archers, 126. Uh, another unit right there. Parthian Foot Archers with only 43 kills. We do still have the Iberian Skirmishers back there, though. So that is something that maybe they can employ later on. General sitting up here. Here comes some more Parthian Swordsmen making their way forward. Iron Shield Warriors still trying to fight off all of these Legionnaires. It's pretty much, I mean, it's all Legionnaires. Whether it's Galatia or it's Rome, it is a bunch of Legionnaires. Still holding. Oh, Galatia. Uh-oh. Galatia pulled away. Not pulled away. He went up onto the wall. Ooh, that could be the beginning of an opportunity. And I think Parthi is going to try and get in here now. Now, they do have the Cappadocian Cavalry over there, but it's only one unit. One unit there. Galatian Nobleman. Wow, 310 kills for a Galatian Nobleman. Wow. That's, that's really good. That is really good, but honestly, I would take this chance now. Take the opportunity now. All right, we got the Iberian Swordsman coming back around again. Maybe he's going to be the first unit that goes in. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, he's falling away. I thought for sure he was going to try and get in there now. These guys facing... Yeah, they're facing the wrong... Well, not facing... Not facing the wrong way. But they're facing towards the attack instead of back here. So nobody's really watching their rear lines. So I would definitely recommend maybe one, no, two or at least two of these units of the Legionnaire Cohort to turn around and just kind of, you know, post up right there, basically. Get the archers back in the side of this little area here. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. But it looks like Galatia may be smelling this. He's coming down. Or is he coming back off the wall? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Oh, wait, no, he's got this unit coming down the wall way over here. Is he going to try and throw some peel in there? Or some javelins, maybe? Maybe. Not sure. The other unit is coming down, though. Okay, so they do have more infantry coming back in to watch their real... Oh, look at this! Look at this! Iberian swordsman coming in on top of the wall, using the attacker's ladders and starting to throw javelins down onto the mercenary Cappadocian cavalry. They've already lost 15 men. Wow. Wow. That's a neat little trick right there. You, oh God, this Cappadocian Cavalry is just dropping. Dropping. Unfortunately, the tree has saved some lives. One, two, three, four, five. So this, this tree right here has saved about five of these Cappadocian Cavalry, but they are getting dropped very, very quickly now. So we have one of the Galatian Legionnaires actually now making his way over here. I guess he's gonna be in charge of uh, watching the breaches. They do see... Oh, they only see one of the mercenary Sarmatian. They obviously see the general. All right. Let's get back over on the front line here. See how we're doing. We actually have more ranged up on... Oh, no. More uh, infantry up on the wall here. Parthian swordsmen starting to throw their peel down here again. Throwing their javelins. Whatever. Throwing them down. I'm actually very surprised that this defensive line is still held for as long as they have. Veteran shield warriors throwing close quarter combat javelins into that first cohort. Oh, no. That is not going to be good. That first cohort's not going to be happy with this next volley. I'm going to sit right here and wait. Come on, throw him. Oh, wait, you got to... No, you got to throw him. Oh, never mind. They lost the opportunity. They lost the opportunity, unless maybe that was the end. Now they had 42 kills. That might have been the end. But well done there by Rome, seeing that the flank of that first cohort was open. So well done by Rome, tossing that unit of Legionnaire cohort in there from stopping these veteran shield warriors to get a possible good flanking charge. Melee attack, 50. Weapon damage, 36. 
Charge bonus is 30. So that definitely could have been a big heat against that uh, first cohort. But oh god, again. Veteran Shield Warriors throwing those javelins, throwing those murder sticks. No, 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 no. He's like, nope, you're not getting out of here. I'm keeping you in the fight. I'm going to keep you honest. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to stay right here. There's got to be another volley coming in. There has to be. Oh, we got javelins coming from every direction. Murder sticks. Come on. You still, yeah, you do. Oh, that was it. Oh, man, that's all. General's out? Yep, General is out, too. But here we go. Big rear charge there. Let's see what these cavalry are doing. Are they doing anything? They're still staying outside. Still staying outside. We have the unit of Persian hoplites coming down over here. Was starting to neutralize it, but unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get it. The Galatian nobleman general has made his way back over here. And unfortunately, the Galatian Legionnaire is up on the wall here now. Now, the, uh, so the Cappadocian Cavalry might be gone. And they did lose. Yeah, they lost a lot of horses right there. They lost a lot, a lot of horses right there. So I think the Cappadocian Cavalry are gone. I don't see their banner any longer. I'm really shocked how well the defenders are holding. I, I mean, I have to say that. I mean, I didn't think that Lusitani was really going to be able to hold that well against the Roman force, but I know that Lusitani is really good. They are one of those, uh, quote, glass cannon factions where they can do a lot of damage, but they cannot take a lot of damage. Very similar to, like, Odrissian Kingdom. Odrissian Kingdom can lay the hammer down, but they can't take the hammer very well. They will lose pretty quickly to ranged and javelins, stuff like that. They will lose a lot. Lusitani Noble General up in the fight here now. 50 kills for him. He's lost 11 men. First cohort and the Legionnaire cohort pressing in. Looks like the Lusitani Noble General is pulling away. Another veteran shield warrior right there. Yeah, he's got to get out of there. Losing a couple more. Range definitely starting to uh, overpower here for the attackers. We have another Parthian swordsman right there, though. Firing down. Getting some good javelins. Legion Legionnaires, 157 kills. We had another Roman unit just break there. Legionnaire cohort with only 100. Only 100 kills. Now we still have more Galatian Legionnaires back here and three more units, basically. Yeah, this unit's really damaged, actually. 212 kills, though. Very well done. Syrian archers firing away 159, 160, 134. Firing in onto the Parthian foot archers there, who actually are firing... Oh, they're firing cross county over here. Cross court into the Galatian Legionnaires, getting a little bit of a shots in onto these first cohort as well. But the balance of power still not in favor for the defenders, and it's kind of getting down to the wire here, guys. I know there's still 16 minutes, a little less than 17 minutes left in the battle, but uh, the defenders are really starting to run out of infantry. I see one unit of full Parthian swordsmen there. Everything else is in melee, except for the obviously the Lusitani Noble General we saw pull back. Here comes the Cataphract General making his way up to the front line. The Sarmatian Lancers cycling all the way around again. Oh, that's why, because Galatia just completely blocked off everything. So this is two units of Galatian Legionnaires now and a whole bunch of Rome breaking into this Lusitani front line. One unit of the Parthian Swordsman right there losing decisively. Currently taking on two units of Galatian Legionnaires. This is a rough fight. This looks like it's going to be very, very rough. Uh, we have Syrian archers coming through. Oh, there's the general. There's the general. He's going to try and turn this around. 27 kills on the charge. Didn't hit trample. Did not hit trample. Probably should have used that with the heavy infantry that's right there, the first cohort that's right there. Might not have been a bad idea for him to hit that to get the extra charge bonus. Oh, we had more actually still back here. These are the three guys. These are the four guys. What were you What were you doing? You are late to the party. Late to the party. And now, oh, God, Legionnaire cohort through. First cohort going to finish off the rest of this veteran Legionnaire. What is that? Oh, it's actually a pretty full unit. Pretty full unit. But here comes the general again. There you go. That was a much better charge. Much, much better charge there. Did he hit trample that time? He did. There you go. Good stuff. Oh, so he's got the Roman general. 
He's got the Roman general up in melee. 98 kills for the Royal Cataphracts. And now we have Balearic Slingers back over there. They still have ammo. Here comes the Sarmatian Lancers now getting into the fight. Oh, this could be the beginning of the turnaround, guys. But I don't know. There's still a lot of heavy infantry back here. A lot of heavy infantry for the attackers. Galatian Legionnaires, Galatian Legionnaires. Still have the Nobleman General. Another full unit, pretty much full unit of Legionnaires back over there as well. And Rome is still very, very strong. He's got his general up over here, though. Oh, the general's charging into the skirmishers. Ooh, Iberian skirmishers kind of left out over there by themselves. 48 kills. Guessing a lot of those kills came onto the Legionnaire cohort there. Sarmatian Lancers coming around. Parthian swords are still on the wall. I wonder if they're just going to... Are they going to come down here, or are they just going to come over here and get into the town center? It's Tiny Noble General in the middle. Balearic Slingers starting to toss really, really fast now. Legionnaire cohorts switching into that attacking Testudo. Which, as long as the shields are facing... Yeah, as long as the unit's facing that way, they won't really have to worry about any side shots. Skirmishers were able to get away. Legionnaire cohort here losing to the veteran shield warriors. Firing into the first cohort now. Okay, there you go. First cohort's going to come over here and help this legionnaire out, though. What do we have over here? Parthian swordsmen retreating away, being chased by Galatian legionnaires. Legionnaires actually have stopped. I wonder if he's going to come over here. Probably going to come over here and try and capture this tower up. Parthian general moving around. 100 kills even. Here we go. Sarmatian Lancers over on this side. Where's the other one? Where is the other Sarmatian Lancer? Did he lose it? Oh, he might have lost it. Ooh, that's... That's not good. That's not entirely good. Legionnaires making their way forward. I honestly would just charge... Charge both of those Legionnaire cohort into that general. Maybe try and get... Yeah, one of these guys... One of these two could easily just walk right around. Oh, here comes Sarmatian Lancers. Charging? Not charging. Pulled up on the charge. Pulled up on the charge. All right, so he's got one Legionnaire cohort that's in melee, but they are not fleshed out. They are not fleshed out. Probably should have just got them out of that attacking Testudo. Let them fill out the line and charge in onto that Lusitani Noble. But maybe not. Actually, hold on a second. This unit's only got two... Wait, what's going on over here? What just died? Oh, the Roman general died? Yep, Roman general died. Doesn't matter. All these units have discipline. Even if they... Yeah, they all have discipline. They're not going anywhere. It's Rome. They're not going anywhere. And then they have the first cohort sitting right here with Encourage. Yeah, these units are fine. Completely fine. Lusitani noble general now, unfortunately, getting it. Kind of getting his face kicked in. What's he at? 94 men, 67 kills, two units of legionnaire cohort. That's going to be a tough fight. around over here. Galatian Legionnaires. Galatian Legionnaires. There's the general though. I'm wondering what he's going to do. Sarmatian Lancer's hidden as well. But this front is starting to fall back. Yeah, the Veteran Shield Warriors. Now I wonder if because these units are so depleted, I wonder if he's trailing them back over to the tower on purpose to try and get the aid. Looks like that's probably what he's doing. Yeah, that's exactly what he did because he stopped right there. So he's trying to get the Arrow Tower to help him out. Iberian Skirmishers, 48 kills. Obviously, they still have Javelins in their hands. Yep, there goes a volley. Tossing long shot. Ooh, wow. That was nice. That was nice. Now, uh, here we go. I was going to just get over here and say, Galatia, better start moving up. Better start moving up here. He's got some strong units. The General, 140. Galatian Legionnaires there, 127. These guys out? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, they're out. Okay. 127, I'm sorry, 142 kills. 142 kills. All right, now, this right here, this is an opportunity. Oh, wait, no, 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 Galatian Legionnaires see it. No, he, they don't see it, but they know the general went over here, so he's going to keep his eye out. Good stuff there. Very nicely done there by Galatia. Legionnaires taking on the Parthian Swordsman. Parthian Swordsman winning decisively. Uh, this maybe. oh, no, they're pulling back completely. 
pulling away from it to complete. Oh no, he's going to try and maybe get another charge in there. He does have, oh they do, they have 91 kills. So I was going to say, maybe they still have some javelins left. But this front line, Lusitani Noble General is dead. Oh boy. Parthian Swords, and here comes the Sarmatian Lancers though. Nice charge in onto the Legionnaire Cohort. That was well done. It was definitely a good charge. Valeric Slingers, let's see, do they have ammo? Mm, they don't have their daggers in their hands, so I'm guessing they do. I'm guessing they still have ammo, but here comes Galatia now. All oh, these units all broke. That tactic right there is really good tactic. Using the arrow tower to help them out. That was good. That was definitely a very good thing to do. All right, so Galatian Legionnaires need to get in there. Galatian Legionnaires need to get in there right now. He could actually, he could actually get a really nice charge right there, in onto these Parthian swordsmen. Would probably break that unit very, very quickly. Back over here, the general has gotten involved. Let's see, 128, 28 more kills. 28 more kills. He's pulling away before the char before the trample's completely over. I wonder when he hit that trample, though. You know, it's, it's ran out. He probably hit it just as he was getting in there. Okay. You just want to make sure that you hit the trample before you get in, because you want that extra charge bonus. That is for sure. Cataphracts, anything that has trample, you want to make sure that you use it. All right, Sarmatian Lancer's now coming around. These guys have 131 kills, so they probably don't have any javelins left. Oh, Sarmatian Lancers went right past them. I thought they were going to charge it onto the Legionnaires. The Galatian Legionnaires, that is. Charging it onto the Legionnaire cohort. Killing some, killing some, killing some, killing some. Oh, they're wow, they're routing them. Or wavering them, at least. They should come back. They should come back. Gotta keep moving, though. Can't just sit out here. Have to keep moving. Have to keep moving. Honestly, I'd send the archers in. Get the archers in here. Let them fight the Iberian skirmishers. Maybe this even really depleted unit of Iberia of the uh, Parthian swordsmen. Oh no! Balearic slingers getting some really good shots here, breaking down this legionnaire cohort even more. Oh wow! A lot of units just charging in there. One of the Galatian legionnaires could have gone that way. The other one could have gone this way. But here's the big boy. This is the large unit of Galatian Legionnaires that's left on the battlefield. Right? These two aren't as strong, right? No. 30 and 51. Sarmatian Lancers over here doing a pretty good job. 51 kills. Oh, wait, no. We have 152 Galatian Legionnaires right there. I guess he was trying to capture that up. Oh, did they chase the general outside? They did. I mean, Galatian, oh, and go. Charge over. No, keep the general outside. Go over there and keep the general. Oh, you don't want to let him back in. Ooh, I wouldn't have let him back in. Frontline still holding here. Parthian swordsmen, veteran shield warriors fighting for every single thing that they have. And I can't believe I'm about to say that Rome is gone. Rome is gone, and Galatia is not looking very strong. The balance of power is still in favor of the attackers, though. Oh, this is going to be a brutal charge. Oh, Sarmatian Lancers crushing that Syrian Archer unit. All right, here comes the Galatian Nobleman General. He's going to make his way around over here. Looks like they're going to try and charge. Looks like the General is going to try and come in here and charge. He's exhausted. Uh, he does not have the refresh general ability, though. Did not bring the strategist ability. The Galatian Nobleman General is going to let that cataphract bypass him. Counter charge by the Legionnaires. This general needs to get over here now. Got to get over here, try and trap that uh, cataphract in there. Cataphract's kind of getting hung up, but some of the Legionnaires getting back up here now. General, unfortunately, is not going to get over there fast enough. But, oh, God. The other unit of Legionnaires getting rear charged. Legionnaires still winning, though. Like, that charge didn't even matter. That charge didn't even matter to the Galatian Legionnaires. They went from winning decisively to just says unit winning. They're still winning the fight. Galatian Nobleman General now getting in here. Now that's a bit of, yeah, don't do that. Well, the General's exhausted though, so it doesn't really matter. He's not gonna get the greatest of charges off. Plus, I don't think he has the trample ability of, uh, available to him. Yeah, not a very good charge there. And it looks like with that Legionnaire unit coming around, 
I think that cataphract might be caught. No, he's still making his way out. Yep, nope. Okay. So the cataphract general is still going to get out, but he's down to 30 men left. 192 kills. Galatian nobleman general now down to 96. He's exhausted as well. Oh, he didn't bring the strategist general ability either. Wow. I I'm honestly a little shocked by that. Nobody brought the strategist ability. Galatian nobleman general just getting shot down. Yeah, these Syrians get over here. Silence that from that from firing. Silence that Balearic Slinger. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're just murdering your general unit. Silence them as fast as possible. Oh, he's wavering. He's wavering. But the Syrian archers did get over there. Here comes the Galatian legionnaires now. This general is really beaten up. Cataphract general coming back. We still got four minutes left. Legionnaires over on this side losing slightly. Still fighting along. Noble Jet over. Oh, this could be a problem. This could be a problem. We're down to 30. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's 15. He was at 30 the last time we saw him. He's going to try and charge in there. Shield screen up. Cataphract General charging in. 200 kills for him. He's got to try. He got to charge in there. He's just going to try and back right out of there. Oh, that Legionnaire unit got taken out. What do we have left? 77 against 57. Still have these archers sitting over here. Syrian archers, get him in. Oh, the general didn't break. I thought he was going to. He's down to nine. Syrian, I'm sorry, the Sarmatian Lancers is down to nine as well. Ooh, this is close, boys. This is a very close fight. I would get the Syrians over here, though. That's more men. 41, 61. That's over 100 men just sitting over there. Syrian archers getting taken out. Galatian Legionnaires not looking too good. Does General die? Nope, General's not dead yet. At least it's not showing that the General died. Five Royal Cataphracts going to try and get in onto a good charge. Sent a couple of men flying. Couple of men flying there. Galatian Nobleman General still alive. Still fighting on. Oh, that Legionnaire broke. This is close. Balance of power is still very in favor of the attackers, though. So we have 30 in the Galatian General unit, and he's wavering. So we have two minutes and 28 seconds left. Oh, it's guess it's the Syrians coming over. Well, I mean, Cataphracts are down to three. The Parthian Swordsmen still have 47 men, guys. I think this is over. I think the attackers are going to lose. They probably should have brought the Syrian archers over here a lot sooner. A lot sooner. I mean, it might not have been the whatever. They could have rear charged with them. They could have maybe surrounded units with them and this guy's only got 49 kills does he still have ammo i mean it's not going to really matter anymore they're going to be running past the routing general unit here very very soon if the general unit even any of them survived i don't know we have galatian legionnaires just walking back and forth here yeah 59 seconds left i think these syrians should have been over here a lot a lot sooner a lot sooner I can't believe the Parthian general is still one of these three men that's alive. That's crazy to me. That's really insane. All right, they're going to charge in, get a massive charge in onto the Syrians. Parthians easily take out the Syrian archers. General dead. Well, at least they at least they broke the general unit before the battle ended, but there you go. Wow. Costly victory. Strange battle. Strange battle, but a lot of kills. Look at that. Everybody over 2,000 kills. Solid. All right, let's take a look at the uh, battle results here. We'll start off with Parthia being commanded by Sexy Millipede 9, and he uh, sent the replay in, so thank you very much for sending it over here. I was very confused. I was kind of shocked on what happened there. That was a uh, that was a strange turnaround at the end. It was a really strange turnaround at the end. I thought for sure the attackers were, gonna get it, were going to get it. But Sexy Millipede playing as uh, Parthia here, 251 with his general. One of the Sarmatians, 183, pretty good. Archers, 102, 126, 291, 100. It's almost 300 of Parthian foot archer. Great job. Uh, Hillman, yep, yeah, they did Hillman things. Parthian foot, uh, sorry, Parthian swordsman here, 259, 102, 177, 97, 161. So most of them did very, very well. Uh, Persian hoplites, they held. They held. Top unit was 40. Getting it with Hectic Dream here, 2,107 kills. I don't know if I said it makes uh, Millipede here with 2,188 but 2107 for Lusitani, 114 with his general. Slingers, 234, 207. Unfortunately, the other one did not get a whole lot. 
Uh, his Iberian Swords of 117, 69 giggity. There you go. Getting into his Veteran Shield Warriors 2, 23, 113, 149, 176, 164. So pretty good there with the Veteran Shield Warriors. Tremor style with Galatia, 24, 17, 2,417 kills. 119 with the General Cappadocian Cavalry. I guess the Cappadocian Cavalry just got shot by all the Iberians. That, well, that one unit of Iberians that was on the wall. I guess that's what happened. Uh, Syrian Archers, 201, 152. Galatian Legionnaires, 155, 152, 125, 247, 232, 162, 344 on a Galatian Nobleman. That's crazy. Uh, his Galatian Swords, 111, 146, and the 117 on the Naked Swords. And then we have Yusuf Zero playing as Rome with the most kills, 2,534 kills. General with 30, Archers, 171, 155. First Cohort, 218, 179, 188. Uh, Legionnaire Cohort 129, 245, 223, 210, 282, 100, 133. So again, the majority of the Legionnaires did very, very well. But that was a that was a that was a crazy battle. That was definitely a crazy battle. Uh, it turned around. I really thought that the defenders were. I mean, they they held. They started doing rather well there, like midpoint of the battle, as far as holding the Romans and the Galatian Legionnaires for as long as they were. But once Rome broke through on that one side, I thought that was kind of the beginning of the end because the balance of power was not in favor of the defenders really at all, that whole fight. So um, that was crazy. That was definitely a, a, a inspiring battle, I'll say it that way. Very inspiring. But that is going to be the end. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the battle. Please make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the content around, and of course, subscribe to the channel, guys. Getting closer to 11,000 subscribers. Really appreciate all of the support and the continued support from all of you watching the videos, view time, everything like that. So thank you guys very much. But that is going to be the end for me. So have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey, guys. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.